Hey guys, this is Batman Arkham Knight 13 here, and I'm going to show off my custom Lego Minecraft world, I guess you could say. And as you can see, it's kind of big. This video might be a little long, and so because the video is gonna be long, I'm gonna kind of jump right into it. So let's go. As you can see in the water, right there. As you can see, there's one little squid. So let's check him out. Squid. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of shiny, so it's here. I use tape. Um, got some side detail, back detail, and this is decals, by the way. So, yeah, let's put, put, put him back in the water. Uh, can you, so you gotta use two pieces. If you look very closely, I have a mouth on that side. So I use two pieces, three long, and yeah, two bricks tall with a flat piece on top, and yeah. So. And uh, this leads kind of in this direction, where we'll go to the cave biome. And as you can see, there's an Enderman. Let's get him. As you can see, he's right here. He's holding a block. A plain stone block. i try to use different variants of light gray. So I used, I, yeah. I used paint, so I used... A purple flat tile in there, and I just kind of painted sides and go black, white, and white. So, and then has one by six tiles, for the legs and the arms, and yeah. And and another one is a creeper. This design was actually kind of easy. You can see kind of the pieces I used. Right there, you can see I used a headlight piece with a cheese slope on its side to give it that walking effect. And also use a 1x2 in the back. And then I use a 2x3 brick, 2x3 flat, and then I used a 1x2 brick, 1x1, 1x2 brick, and then I used a jumper plate so I can get that head. And then I, I did paint it, but then I just kind of get decals. I just got decals because it was just on the internet and I just saw it. So I was like, you know what, whatever. But yeah, there's him. And yeah, let's put him down. And I did make a slime. Barely see it, but I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but there it is. Just a perfect cube. And yeah. As you can see, up on its perch, near the lava, and some water, near a, couple, a pretty good waterfall, I have my Lego skeleton. And as you can see, it's a custom bow and arrow. I just used some string, a kind of rod piece with a Lego hand, round Lego hand, and I sharpied the tip to make it silver. And I just kind of bent a Lego rod, cut a Lego rod, Lego hand, and that was it. And then this is a sculpted head, painted it, and it's kind of tall. I, I might trim it down, but anyways, just a skeleton body and skeleton arms. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And as you can see, right here is lava down here. Let's get in there. Kind of dark. So I used a transparent cheese slopes and just a bunch of slope pieces. So yeah, that's that. And as you can see, this is not blocky, so it's kind of just cave looking. I use a emerald ore here, and I also use a diamond ore. Let's get that out, actually. Can't get it out, it's gonna break. So, diamond ore right there. You can barely see it. Probably do it, I'll probably get a more closer look at it in another review. And moving on, this is a middle cave biome, so that's pretty cool. And right here, peeking out of the thing, is something I want to show you later. But right here is the iron golem. I think it's pretty cool. It has these arms, just can just smack you with it. I did some vine work with Sharpie and some cut up actual vine pieces in Lego. Use some green pieces right here. And on the arm. The arms are six tall, six long, 
you want to make that. And if you can't see, this is built upside down. Yeah, it fell off. This is built. This is built upside down. I use jumper jumper plates just to kind of inch it forward a little bit. And my four legs. And no, it's kind of it. So right here, I have where the waterfall is, and on top of the whole cave is a little spider. I just kind of added that for detail. But let's get him down. So he is Hero Brian. Hero Brian, Hero Brian, whatever. So I used blue legs, just a medium blue leg. Use a white torso, kind of mess. I use a messed up torso, and then some plain arms just to kind of paint. And the head is a sculpted head. I'm not going to take it off because it's air dry clay. It would probably break on me. So let's put him. And in the back, you can see the Ender Dragon. Now this Ender Dragon, I think, is pretty cool. Can't get really get him in the whole shot. Okay, that's his normal position. As you can see right here, the head does turn. I'm kind of holding it with one hand now, so I can't really do this. But yeah, head does turn. And you can, if you are very careful, you can open the mouth. Yeah, whatever. So yeah. As you can see, he has some wings right there. I got the gray detail in there. Uh, I, it's not completely game accurate, but I think it's pretty cool. I have some spines going down here. These are just one by one flat tiles going around the tail. <coughs> so I get down here, just kind of that. And you can just rotate, you know, do whatever you want. Might do a how to build on this, probably not. But if you're lucky. The head can turn, but just to give it that normal view. Mm -hmm. Let me just open its head and I'll show you kind of an overview. Okay, so here's its kind of roaring position. As you can see, the eyes are decals. Right there, the eyes are decals. Focus. Can't really focus, but the eyes are decals. I use some gray one by ones flat tiles just to give it. I don't know if it's ears. It kind of looks like Mickey ears, which is not. I don't really like. And then decals in the mouth right there. Just a purple, a light purple, just to give it that feel. So, anyways, I got over here some more mobs and stuff. So just that. Yeah, squid right there. Um. Have this cool little thing, the sheep. Now the sheep, I think I did a pretty good job on it. Got some tan pieces to uh, do that. Um, kind of looks like it was two legs. Have some decaled face, and yeah, that's kind of it. And it's a brick long. I might, I'm gonna do a how to build it on mobs. So yeah. I also have this snow golem, which is pretty cool. He was kind of a rush build. It wasn't really one of those things. It, was, it wasn't one of those things. Like it was more of an easier build. Had it come off. It's a perfect cube with a decal, and I use tape on my decals. What I do is I glue it on, then I use tape to tape it, and it gives a really glossy effect. As you can see, it's kind of glossy. So yeah. And over here, I have my custom Lego cow. It's kind of small. I would, I'm gonna prop it up more. I don't really like it too much. But anyways, yeah, that's the cow. Decaled face. Yeah, that's the cow. And over here, what I really like is the pig. Pig is one of my favorites. It's just plain. It's easy build. I use a two by two flat tile and then two by two plate then a one by two brick then a one by two flat tile and I connected that onto a pink brick actually it's painted pink and then one by two one by two bricks for the feet and then you get your little pig but we want to do decal it too that's how I got the pig feel and oh yeah it's lava right there and some water last mob is the bunny 
Now this came in the newest, latest update. You probably got it already. But if you didn't, this is kind of what the bunny would look like-ish. I chose a tan color of bunny because that's how I had most tan pieces. So I decided to make a tan bunny. Um, yeah. So I think this is pretty cool. It's a bunny. And I got some water right there. I have grass, and then the main attraction basically is Steve. Diamond Steve. Tan everywhere, brown hair. Got a diamond pickaxe and diamond armor. Basically everything but the helmet because I couldn't really get the helmet. I really like Steve. He's really nicely done. I kind of did this technique where I put blue Sharpie and I went over it with silver and it got a really cool effect. It's not close, that's not exactly on with what Legos is, but I just decided to do that. So over here, back over here, is the blaze. Now I'm probably going to review this more in another set I might make. Basically he's pretty easy, looks pretty cool. Decaled face, perfect cube, head, and stuff like that, yeah. And I also have a magma cube, which is actually... Good size. I have some dark red in here. And I also have some dark red over here. That's not a good piece to use, probably not. And yeah, I think I did the eyes. The eyes are probably perfectly done. And I have a little pond back here where you can kind of pretend to go fishing when you do clay. So yeah, kind of grass texture. Because I have brown and then green plate. Not a perfect cube, but you know. Now I use a green base plate over here. I also have this little creeper face roof. I'm going to put that back on and slide it. So get, the interior. So get the interior of the house. I can't really see it very well, but I got some iron armor right down here. Then I got his plain pants. He can switch it out and his sword. can't really see it, but. It's a sword and it looks pretty cool. And over here, it's a bed. And this is kind of a messy house. A little small. But yeah, whatever. And just a little sand fan dragon back here. So yeah, I'll give you a quick overview of the whole entire cave. So yeah. I hope you guys have a merry, very good Christmas, and yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you guys